Hi, it's Sophie from Superbike Factory and today we're going to do an unboxing video of the Citadel CBR 10K disc lock. We're going to run through some of its technical features and show you how to pop it on and remove it from a brake disc. Firstly, let's take a look at the packaging that the disc lock comes in. From the front of the box, we can see the model and the thickness of the disc lock. It's a Chicago CBR 10K. The 10K stands for the thickness of the bolt. It's 10mm and it will fit any brake disc with 10mm holes in. If we flip the box over to the back, it clearly shows the security level of this lock is 8 out of 10. It also shows you the millage of the disc lock, again, 10 mil. If we turn the box to the side, we can clearly see a photo of a key demonstrating that the disc lock is included with keys. The box also states that it's designed by Abbas. As we know, Abbas produce high quality security products. The sister company Citadel offer better value for money on their range without compromising on the security of their products. Right, so let's delve into the box to see what's included. As we can see, nice and compact. And all you simply get for your money is the disc lock and the three keys itself. As we can see, three keys do come included, so on the off chance one is ever lost, you do have two backups. So the disc lock itself, it's clean, it's compact. One thing I would like to mention though is that it is quite heavier than other branded disc locks. I don't however think this compromises on the security and safety of the lock itself. On to a couple technical features of the Citadel disc lock. As we can see from here, this is the 10mm bolt. It's made of thick steel, it's high quality with a high pick resistance so it makes it harder to get into if someone was trying to steal your bike. The other feature that I'd like to point out is the weather resistant lock cover at the top of the Citadel disc lock. This protects the lock from all weather conditions, avoiding oxidisation and rust of the metal, meaning that you can still get your key in and twist it to undo the bolt to lock onto your brake disc. Let's go and see how to add and remove one of these disc locks. Pop open the weather resistant lock cover. Insert your key to twist the lock and release the bolt. Slip the disc lock over the brake disc onto one of the relevant holes. Finally, all you need to do is push down the lock. You don't need to use the key to secure the disc lock in place. To remove the disc lock, all you need to do is open the weather resistant lock cover. 